Hey, we are Lee and Kristen. Welcome to our channel, Road Trip and Kings. All right, so our plans have changed today, of not we? It's a uh, weather's came over. It's a bit rainy, a bit colder today. Warm enough for me, but uh, we're not going to go to Mar uh, we're gonna be ready to do some Selkland. We're instead we're going to go to Vega and do some shopping. Then we're going to cross over to Marimbala, where we're going to take the kids back to the lolly shop where they sell all the American stuff. Um, this time we'll film it. We'll film it. It's an awesome shot. I like the kid in the candy store there. Well, it is a candy store, so. And uh, I'm going to spend my wife's money. And um, we'll see how we go with this rain. But I don't see it. There's going to be no swimming today, I don't think so. so Staying dry. Maybe watch a movie tonight. And Maybe Luna, you know on the cards. Why aren't you driving, Lee? Why am I driving? Oh, oh well, because oh, it's festive season. Is it? And I had a bit of pineapple juice today. Oh, with a little bit of? Malibu, coconut rum. So, I'm the, the co-pilot today. And uh, Kristen is taking a wheel. As usual. Oh, Story of my life, always driving in the rear. Made it to Marimbala and the rain has not stopped. It's even getting worse now. How warm is it? That warm. <laughs> but have a look at it. What a miserable day, but we've got to make the most of it. So there is something we might go and do. Uh, there's a, what is it, a native animal sanctuary. So we might actually go do that. So got to do something today. So he's in uh, American movies and that. I'm gonna get one just to try it out. I reckon it's really disgusting, but which one should we get? The American or cheddar? What's the difference? I don't know, cheddar and American. What's American? So why go American? Alright, we'll go American. I don't reckon this is gonna be good, but we'll give it a shot. This is your heaven, isn't it? What's your choice of drink today, Nelly? Chop and chop. I want to try this. Black cherry. That sounds like me. As you remember, this is, what we, this is where we put the chips from. What's your go today, Joe? Huh? What are they? They're yeah, hot, aren't they? Yeah. What do we always get hot stuff for? Hey? No more hot stuff for me. Mornings are good. Thank you. 
it's raining. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the main entry area. There's a cafe there as well. They open from nine to two every day. And as you can see behind me, they've actually got train rides. I think they depart every hour and they take you around the entire um, location as well. Pretty cool. Lee's not wearing a poncho. No. Nor is Nat. Nor is this one. <laughs> but did you talk tell me about the wombat, Kristen? Um, I wanted to come in here mainly to not only see but also hold, hopefully, a wombat. But unfortunately they only do that between 9 and 11 every day. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> um, so I miss out, unfortunately. But that's one thing I've always wanted to do is um, Kristen, have a bit of a cuddle you, with a wombat. Kristen's always seen wombats, but they're always dead on the road. Now <laughs> They're always dead on the road, exactly. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're trying our hardest to get a, to see a wombat. But a live geez, one. A live one. <laughs> that's in a safe spot. <laughs> you Not know, in your road. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, no wow. food, oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, it's looking to eat. <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Check out the ears. <laughs> Holy cow. Walking around. Well, Mum, I thought you were scared. Nelly, we don't say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of birds or reptiles. Reptiles are my favourites. <laughs> Including snakes. They're big birds, oh. Bloody hell. Oh, she's so big. Hello. I'm not going anywhere closer. <laughs> Go closer to it, Jan. No. <laughs> What's in this one? What is it, Natalie? What's in there? Possum. 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 Ah, possum. Possum. Bush tail. Spot the possum. Oh, he's now. He's now. Where is he? He's eating his vegetables. <laughs> Oh, he eats more vegetables than I do. <laughs> so he's better than you. He's having an orange. Vegetables? You guys can see in there. It's it a, so cute. It's not orange. It's, um, it's pumpkin. Yeah, I can see fruit there. Mm, so cute. All right, we're gonna do this walk through of the potato. 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 Two beds in there. A few reptiles, so not reptiles. Oh no, they're better than yes. reptiles in there. <laughs> no, Otherwise, fine. I'm out. Let's go through. I love food. Oh, must be feeding time. Feeding time. <laughs> okay. What are we spotting oh, here? Oh, look, Nelly, look up there. That's all. Carrots. There they are, there's one in the bush. Just in there, you can see it. How cute it is! Oh my god, they're so cute! i take one home. Don't know about these fellows up there. I don't know what they are. Is that like a quokka? I don't know. These ones? Yeah. They look like them. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, we've got two dogs at home. We don't need another, another pet. <laughs> Sleepy. Don't you guys see? There's a little koala tucked in. Let's come around here. Oh my god, he's so cuddly. He's having a snooze in the afternoon. Here's a little story about the little koala we just saw. Her name, what's her name? Her name is Hope. She used to jump onto the heads of the keepers. Since making enormous leaps, she ended up in the wombat enclosure. <laughs> so they had to move her into an aviary. <laughs> Funny as that. <laughs> a little cheeky bugger. Another koala. Maybe <laughs> back over there. Oh, yeah. Must 
be a baby around here. Checking out the flying fox. Let's see if we can spot them. There's Draculas. <laughs> oh wow, look at those beady eyes staring at you. Jesus. Hi. Goodness. Hide your necks, everyone. <laughs> All right. Funny story about foxes. flying foxes. <laughs> So we went to Cairns one year and uh, Jared was a little bit younger and we told him that the bats in the air were vampire bats <laughs> and you have to protect your neck when you see them. So as we we'll, anywhere we went at night time and you see him flying, you go, Jared, bats, the bats, the vampire bats. And he would, he would prick down like this and hide his neck. And that went on for about three days before we let him know, let him know that... <laughs> It wasn't true. <laughs> oh, Jared. You're in your little baby. Oh, Joey. <laughs> Have a look at this. Popping his head out to say hello. Hello, Mr. Longneck. Hello, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Hello, legacy. buddy. Hello. Hello. Love how they walk. And a wobble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've come to the part of the tour where. <laughs> We come to Kristen's favorite thing in the world. Kristen, how much do you like reptiles? I'm happy to sit this one out. No, you're coming in. <laughs> you're coming in. It's uh, yeah. Praying for you, honey. Praying for you. This is one of the best. That's where they belong. And that's what mum cried about. No way. Yeah, remember the time that I brought in the blue tongue lizard? Oh, there's another one down there. There's, there's another one down here. He looks like an arm and vehicle. What's down there, Joe? Another. Oh, hey. shit, I don't want to look for it. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, what this is, is it? Shredded snake skin. Man. Shredded snake skin. Where's my yeah, well, that's oh, pretty, yeah, that's pretty that. long. I think that's just to, to show it off. Oh, here we go. What's this one, Natalie? That's an, a, a Woma python. Woma python. Mm. Oh, Ooh, that's Kristen's best friend. <laughs> She'd love to have that at home. Boing. Boing's forest oh, dragon. Yeah. What are they? Boing's forest dragon. Forest dragon? Where is it? Kristen, why are you holding on to that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There he is. Hello, buddy. He's cool. <gasps> it's snakes moving, Mum. <laughs> Quitting your mum's holding on to me, Joe. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Koala Bear. <laughs> so we're seeing koalas, but uh, Kristen's had no luck. We have not seen a wombat. What do we do? How are we going to get you to see a wombat? I don't know. I don't know what we're going to have to do. We're probably going to have to become like wombat trappers or hunters. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest to get it to see a wombat, but I'm failing. I'm failing. This is their enclosure here. The wombats. And yeah. Apparently, they're sleeping in their holes in their burrows. Oh, oh. Hi. <laughs> Bye. Dancing. 
morning. <laughs> Hi. See ya. Bye. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a match, Kristen. I got an excuse. Hi. It's excited now. Hi. Hello. You're dancing. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Do you want to dance? <laughs> 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 that's the best. That's the I best. like the way he walks. <laughs> oh, that's you amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the best. Bye. You're a good baby. Hey. You're a good baby. You're a good boy. You're a good baby. You're a good boy. You're a cockatoo. Nice boy. <laughs> Nine. Where you go? Where are you go? Dad, dad, dad. Dad, you bought. It says bitey wings, eh? Where are you going? Uh -huh. You escaping? It Maybe wants to be with Jared. <laughs> are you trying to get in? Do you want to escape? You want to come home? Hi. Hi. It's all lucky. Hi. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> He's Bye. showing off. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. 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 Oh, train's back. Uh, we just finished up at the Potteroo Palace Native Animal Sanctuary in Marimbula. Fantastic place for a rainy day. Um, pretty cheap as well. I think it's only like. 25 bucks an adult, well, we paid for a family of four, so it was, costed us about 80 bucks. They also sell $3 worth of little bags that you can feed the, the roos that are walking around freely and the birds as well. Um, and today I had a special treat. So they normally um, have a wombat showing, but you can actually cuddle them as well. Between 9 and 11 a.m. we missed out because we rocked up just after one. But as we were leaving, we bumped into one of the staff members over here and um, we were just saying that, hey, you know, we, we missed out. She said, all right, well, um, let me go and see. We've got a blind wombat that actually lives at the staff quarters named Millie. Um, and she was gonna see if Millie was awake and was available for us to cuddle. She was gone for a while and I said to Leah, I said, oh, knowing our luck, <clears throat> we're not gonna get a chance to actually see her. Um, and this lady finally rocked up about five ten minutes later and she didn't look very happy so um so we said oh no bugger we're not going to get a chance to to look at millie and she said all right head to the little train station area and millie's coming out she's been carted out for you so all of us got to have a bit of a cuddle with little millie and she leave you on hold this she loves to play by it so I did try to cuddle her. <laughs> this is what's left of my poncho. I am glad I was wearing my poncho because I don't know what she would have done. She didn't like that poncho. <laughs> to my, she didn't like to it. my um, jumper. Um, she is blind as well, but she was 26 kilos off her. We got to cuddle, so we'll show you some footage of Millie as well. And these guys run off donations. They're a non-profit yeah. organisation. So if you go in the yard, maybe throw a little bit extra in. We did. Um, kids will help, help them go. And they sell plants here too. And, uh, and that goes to helping them out, the feed and all that. So, yep. awesome Good place, day. awesome place to visit. Great for the kids. Um, but yeah, you should definitely check it out if you're down Mirambilla Way. Yeah, we're here for about two hours, I think, call up. Yeah. So, it's good. Worth the, worth all, every cent. <laughs> Guess what they're doing for me? Special for Crystal. Special, just for me. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, hello. This is Millie. Wayne, see Millie. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, hello, beautiful. This is Millie, the star of the century. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that down, because she eats that. Hello. <laughs> so while she's eating, it's fine for you to pat her down here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, she's a bit wet, sorry. That's all right. She was in bed, so we had to get her up. So cuddly. <laughs> she's a little nugget, isn't she? Yeah, she is. <laughs> she's a bulldozer. <laughs> yeah. So Millie's blind. So cute. Yeah. She got hit by a car when she was two. She's six now. But um, being blind hasn't yes. slowed her down. Yeah, yeah. Because she uses her hearing and the smell. Yep. She can chill, still mm -hmm. chase you. I oh, should so. you, you can't get away from her. Yeah. Yeah, they, can, they can run up to 40 kilometres. Really? That's why they get down the road so frequently. Yeah. That's... They come out so quickly. Like, yeah. Solid. You think, solid. You think they're slow, but they're not. Yeah. I, well, I've been trying to fight, like, see one in real life for 20 years. <laughs> and That's alive. Had, it's alive. It's alive, yes. That's exactly Not what I said to him. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I said to him. Yeah. This is an unbelievable treat for the wife. Oh, beautiful. This is the best. So she comes in at 26 kilos, and that's a solid dead weight. <laughs> <laughs> she should get to about 35. Oh really? Oh really? Yeah, so there's more to go. Yeah, she's only six, so yeah. She keeps eating. That's the third corn cob for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. She loves corn uh, like I do. Yeah, now you know. And how old does she sleep for a long time? She sleeps. <laughs> she's the opposite to wombats, okay? She's not, she doesn't think she's a wombat. She's awake usually during the day yeah. when we're around. And then at night she'll sleep. Oh really? Yeah. Because she can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does. She's not out here in the park mixing with other wombats. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna feel it. <laughs> that wombat's falling. Oh, it feels heavier than Dozer. <laughs> 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 nah, nah, nah. Doesn't wanna. Oh, oh. Stay waiting. <laughs> 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 it is. Sorry. Yeah. That's all right. Well, well just one joke. Well, Come, hang on. <laughs> 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 Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Cocktails with Kristen. Today we are going to do Lee's favourite drink, the espresso martini. It's a nice simple one, um, easy for travelling because you don't need too many ingredients. Um, but it is Lee's favourite, he's in the mood for one so I'm going to make him one just for himself. Okay, so all we need today is your cocktail shaker. I've got some ice cubes in there already. You need a glass obviously. Now if you do have a martini glass, fantastic. But as I said in the last episode, I um, don't have one. So I'm just using my trusty beer glass over here. Your measuring cup, if you prefer to measure. <laughs> um, you do need some espresso. Now I'd have a little bit more than an espresso, but Lee likes it nice and strong. So you've got your black coffee there, vodka, and a bit of Kahlua. All right. And all we're going to do is put pour our coffee into our cocktail shaker. We're then going to add one big cup of vodka. Now I usually do two because it is Lee, <laughs> but usually the recipe calls for one. Um, and then just one of um, the Kahlua. And then we give it a good shake and you pour it into your glass. All right, so let's get mixing. Lee's favourite espresso martini. A lot stronger than the normal ones, but this is for Lee. So, cheers, guys. It's meant to be for Lee, but hey. Okay, um, second last night here, 
at um, Tatra. We are going to make a very simple spaghetti. We are craving spaghetti, so I'm just doing a seafood marinara with some spaghetti. So I've got the spaghetti nearly ready to go. And then I've also got some garlic bread that we've put in the Weber. Um, but we are cooking the marinara outside. I just don't generally like cooking inside unless I'm boiling water. <laughs> So something like pasta is fine. Um, well let's go outside, get the marinara going. Okay, so the pasta is ready and it's inside. And now it's Lee's turn to cook that. Oh. I'm going to finish this first. Finish up his espresso martini. martini. And he is going to make the seafood marinara. So we've basically got some oil heated up over here on the saucepan. And Lee's popping in some garlic, put as much garlic as you like. We like a lot of garlic, so yeah. This is quick and easy. You just going to take the sauce. What? The longest thing to do is cook the pasta. So, because it's seafood, you don't want to cook it that long. Cook off the garlic a little bit. Then, with the marinara mix. We'll fry this off for about, uh, about a minute. Then we'll chuck in some, the old salt. Some salt, some, some pasta, pasta sauce, sauce some and then the old trusty oregano. Oregano? Oregano. 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 And we normally top it off with a little bit of cheese, but we haven't got any parmesan to break. So we are going to use our trusty Heritage Reserve cheddar that is absolutely beautiful that we picked up the other day from the bigger factory. Alrighty, garlic bread is ready. So we'll turn this bad boy off and we'll go see what leads up to next. Alright, we're going to chuck a bit of pepper, some salt. The oregano. There you go, said it right this time. Oregano. 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 <laughs> then, let's chuck the sauce in. Then we're going to do one and a half bottles, I reckon. Chop it in half and see, here we go. You know what you have more. Give it a good stir. Pretty much it, isn't it? I've just put the lid on, let it sit there for a few minutes till the pasta sauce heats up. And we're done, we're cooking the fire and we will be. Do a bit of a taste test, really, and you can, to go. <laughs> you can do the taste test today. We've done three different stoves today. We've done the pasta inside, garlic bread on the Weber, and this one on the little butane burner. Cool. Time to taste our creations. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Smells good. Mm. That's good. That's it. Alright, so it's our last full day on holidays. Tomorrow we have to do the old uh, pack up and long drive home. But Today, we've been blessed with weather. It's about 29 degrees and a little bit windy, I must admit, but still good, good to go swimming. Uh, so, we're heading to Bermagui.
Jonah, but it does look a bit windy outside. So I've got it ready, ready to go, but it, it's windy. So uh, let's see, let's see what happens. But um, yeah, we should get some good footage today. So stay with us. Awesome. So if you're ever down here, pop in there and have a meal. The meals are amazing. There's a few cafes and bakeries here as well down the main strip. You should check it out. Now everyone knows as a father you've got to do certain things to protect your children. Now the water's cold <laughs> and it's blowing a gale. But me and Jared are gonna do it. I'm I'm leading the race home. We're gonna give it a shot. And um, it's all right, I'll let the others come in. No, nah, I actually lost the bet. We did paper, rock, scissors and I lost, so I have to jump in first. So, here we go. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, oh, that's the never regions. Here we go, here we go. It's getting up there. Ah! All right, let's jump in. Oh.
Here, yeah? So this one is a draft. Let's see how this one goes. I'll get it in my mouth first. Though. It's alright, it's pretty strong. This one is different. This is a rice rice beer. It's actually quite nice. I like that one. Then we've got hazy pale ale. I've never had that. No? I'm just asking. Hazy? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not one for me. And here we go, the last one. We've got the stout. This should be strong. Oh, that's nice. I'd, I'd use that in Miss Jews. <laughs> Is that the only place where staff goes? <laughs> oh, we made this. Yeah. There's our view for lunch. Only orders a Palmer, and today she surprised us. And what'd you get, Chris? Kranskis. Kranskis. <laughs> Sauerkraut, a mashed potato. German, German grilled Kranskis. Oh, yeah. But the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, and her her son, <laughs> as usual, got a Palmer as well. Here you go. See, Natalie takes after me. Seafood. 
salt and pepper squid. How good is it? For me, orange roughy. Padded, of course. So, looking good. Now good to eat. Alright, so we're done for that one for lunch. And uh, I am chockers. I'm so full. I think I'm ready for a nap. But also, at the Tuffer Pub, downstairs they've got a kitchen and they do pizzas. So I wouldn't know that until after we ordered and all that. But we got to sit there, eat, and uh, look at that stunning view. So, all in all, it was a win, I think. What do you reckon? It's pretty good. There's indoor and outdoor dining. Um, it is chock a block in there. We're glad we came probably at about 12 o'clock for lunch. Um, there's an outdoor play area for the kids and outside as well. If you've got your fur babies, you're allowed to take your pets in there. Um, there's a little section outside where you can have your dogs as well. So it's pretty good. Pretty good pub. Good meal. We'll come back again. Sure. He's on tour duty. <laughs> Did you do that, Dozer? Did you do poos? Did you do poos? Thank you so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and of course subscribe and hit that notification button. If you would like to see a little bit more of Lee, myself and the family, pop a comment down below to let us know. Thanks again guys, we'll leave you now with a few memories from our trip to the Sophia Coast.